Hi friends, welcome you all to the last 90 days to CAT series. In the last part, we talked about four set Venn diagrams and today we are talking about set theory, maxima and minima problems. Another important aspect, another very, very interesting aspect about set theory. 3M school is a happening place with 500 students in all. There are three major bodies, student bodies, music club, magic club and maths club. People who are part of one club are called studs. People who are part of two, two clubs are called super stud. And people who are part of all three are called baba. There are 200 students who are part of music club. 125 who are part of maths club. 160 are part of magic club. 100 are part of maths and magic. 50 are part of maths and music. 75 are part of music and magic. So now let's try and plot it. What is not given to us is people who are part of all three clubs. So let us assume a number x. There are people who are part 200 students are part of music. So 200 I'll write it here. 125 maths and 160 are part of magic club. 100 are part of maths and magic. This this I will write as 100 minus x y because combined it becomes 100 right. 50 are part of maths and music. So 50 are part of maths and music by the same logic this becomes 50 minus x and 75 are part of music and magic. So this will become 75 minus x. What is remaining we can find out. So this is 200 combining 50 minus x, x and 75 minus x. This becomes 125 minus x, right? So what is remaining is 75 plus x. You can count all the elements 75 plus x, 50 x and 75. 75, 75 is 150 plus 50 is 200 plus x plus x is plus 2x minus x minus x is minus 2x so that is 200 now in this part what is only maths 50 minus x x is is 50 plus 100 minus x so this is 150 minus x so i can write it as x minus 25 you can add it and check so this becomes 50 plus 100 150 minus 25 is 125 plus x plus x minus x minus x cancelled out here i have 160 so I can write this as x minus 15. Why? 75 minus 15 is 60 plus 100 is 160. Plus x plus x minus x minus x cancelled out. So now we know all the elements here in a variable which is x. What is the minimum number of Baba in 3M school? What is who are Baba? People who are part of all three clubs, right? Can I take 0? What happens if I take 0? If I take x as 0, then this becomes negative. And this also becomes negative. So the basic premise in such questions is no number should become negative, right? Minimum it can become is zero. So what is the minimum value that I can take? The minimum that I will have to take in this case is x is equal to 25. Why? If I take any other smaller number, let's say I take x is equal to 15. Then what happens? This becomes zero, which is all right. But this becomes minus 10, which is not all right. Okay, so the minimum that I can take is 25, in which case this will become 0, this will become 10 and every other number will remain either 0 or greater than 0. What is the maximum number of Baba in the 3M schools? Can I take x is equal to 200 as big as 200? What happens? This becomes negative, this becomes negative, this becomes negative. So these are the limiting constraints to the maximum value of x. Can I take it more than 50? If I take more than 50, let's take a number 60. What happens? This becomes minus 10. This is all right. This is also all right. Positive. Everything else is positive, but this becomes negative. So the maximum that I can take X is equal to 50. I cannot take more than 50. I hope this is clear to you. I can't take more than 50. Why? Because if I take more than 50, then this number becomes negative. So I hope this part is clear. Another type of question where, so there are total 400 students in this case. There are 250 students part of music, 150 who are part of maths and 200 part of magic. You know, there is nothing about two out of three clubs. You know, there are, it does not mention that people who are part of two clubs or people who are part of three clubs. In such cases, how do we find maxima and minima? Very, very simply, what we'll use is a number line. It's a small number line representing 1 to 400. In this case, what we'll do, there are 250 students who are part of music club. 
So what we'll do, let's try and find out maxima first. I'll plot from 1 to 250. From 1 to 250, I have plotted music. People who are part of music club. 150 are part of maths club. Because I want to maximize this number, I will put maths club also here. So from 1 to 150, I have maths. And 200 are part of magic club. From 1 to 200, I will put magic. Now, let's see what part is common. If you see, in this case, this part is common. So, what is the maximum number of Baba in 3M school? That becomes 150. Now, if I have to minimize, if I have to minimize, then I have to skew them apart. I have to put them as apart as possible. If I put music as 1 to 250, I'll put, let's say, maths from starting from 400. So starting from 400, if I put 150, so it will become from 251 to 400. Now think about it. Between music and maths, there are zero people common. Now you can put people from magic club as, as you want. So you, if I put it here, think about it. There are no people who are common between music, maths and magic. So what is the minimum number of Baba in 3M school? That becomes zero. I hope this is clear to you. So what do you have to do to calculate minimum? Skew the sets as apart as possible. Try solving more questions. Thank you for joining. God bless you all.